Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am now on part three, so we are going to be making some embellishments today, some fabric embellishments. Um, these are some paper clip ones, and these are on the pinch crimp, crimp um, embellishments as well, the little crimps that have clip on the top. So they're very, very quick and easy to, um, as you know, I like to do. So they're really, really pretty. Um, I'm just quickly going to show you from the last video and um, we were making the um, tags so I've got some more so I've got I made a few more so we've got three big ones I think I made that one um, and then we've got some two little ones and I made that one so they're the ones that are going to go in the pocket pack um, so we've got five of those and I've picked sort of like some fabric um, that actually complements these and I've used the same um, trim on them as well so it all blends in so it looks all pretty okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you look all as they are are little bits of fabric that I've got you can have look you can have your offcuts um, to use and any little bits odds and ends that you've got and I've just used a bit of trim and I've actually used so I've done a bit of sewing and this is embroidery thread um, it's just the thread that you get in the the, for doing the embroidery bits and pieces there and this is like I think it's um, like the ombre one um, so it's really really pretty so and it blends in nicely so I've just done a few tiny little flowers on there and I've just done a bit up through there um, and what I've done it's a long piece which is folded over so you don't see any of the um, little knots and stuff behind it so I'll show you that so they're all very similar some of them have got little bits of fabric behind and there's a little bit of a rickrack down there and then there's another one there and then they've got another one there so I thought they were really pretty and this one I'll show you as well I'll make one of these and one of these so what I actually have what I ordered the other day was some um, interfacing which is for the fabric so it makes your fabric stiffer um, so because what I did I wanted to do some journals and I thought because I do a fabric um, covered journals it just gives that extra little bit of um, stiffness to your fabric not too much um, but I thought it just makes it just a little bit stiffer um, so if you wanted to sew onto it and everything um, it's quite nice because some of my fabric is quite um, thin so I thought I'd use that and so I use some I've actually eyed it onto here and instead of using cardboard um, which I normally use for these um, you don't have to and they're a lot lighter so when you put them on your tea stain pages and your journals they're not so heavy um, so they look, um, look really pretty so I thought that was really nice so but you can use paper you can just line it with paper if you want to but this interfacing stuff is really really cheap and it's just iron on you just iron it on and it's brilliant I think it was like a, a pound for per meter so it's really really good so what I've done I will show you let's start off with the paper clip one first so here we go that's done in two pieces so I'm going to bend it over there let's take this out of the way I'm going to bend it over so we've got sort of the same sort of size and then just chop off the top like that oops okay so what we want to do is just decorate this one side so let's have a look so we make sure we know where the foldy bit is pop that down so I've got all the trims that I was using on the um, tags that we were making so we want to blend them in so they all sort of like have the same same embellishments on them so let's have a look, let's take a piece of this, just cut a little bit off, oopsie daisy, so then we can stick some of this on here, we we'll just randomly stick some pieces onto it, um, and then we'll have a piece of this, I think this is just so pretty, um, sort of go up through there, that's quite nice doesn't it? let's just stick this down I've got some um, three in one which I'm just going to just lightly pop down on here because I will sew over the top with the embroidery thread um, 
So once you've made made them up, you can actually sit in front of the TV and just embroider little flowers onto each one. Um, so that's something to do in the evenings. Pop this up through there. Let's chop that bit off. And a bit of this through there. Bit off at the top here. Oh, I've got bulb clip stuck on the end. So that's so when you fold it over, that's what it looks like. Okay, that's that one. So you only need a couple of little bits. If you've got a nice, pretty fabric behind, um, you don't have to add so much stuff. It's the same as doing the, the stamping. Um, once you've got a nice background, you don't have to embellish too much. Um, so if you don't have the, the amount of stash that you that a lot of people have, you can only use you only need to use a few little bits and pieces. So I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do then, I'm just going to show you how I made the little flowers. I'm not very good at this, so I'll just sort of make it up as I go along. But you can just pop it through. Oops like so and then I've just did some little random stitches just so they you can just just about see them on there because it's a sewing journal or not journal a pocket pack it's quite nice to just to do a little bit of hand sewing on there so it's just sort of like sewing that little bit of lace a little bit of fabric onto there and just do some little random stitches look so you could make some of these up and then sit and watch your favourite programme on the telly in the evening. Just randomly stitch like so. And then what I will do, I'm going to go right the way down to this bit here. It's quite nice to stitch because this is quite hard. So it's quite easy to, to put a stitch in it and it doesn't all fold up too much. I'm just going to make one of these little star flowers, very basic. So you just pop that in like that. And then you can make five little dots around there because they've got like five of them, just so you know where you're sewing, where you're going to stitch. And you just go down through the middle and up and then back down through the middle of the, the centre of the little star like that just gives you a nice little little flower like that so if you know how to embroider and stuff like that you'll be a lot lot better than me this is just very basic there we go see daisy there look so that would look quite nice on there and then what I'm going to do, just pop that through there. I'm not going to really tie it because I don't want it to be too thick. I don't want it to be too bulky. So I'm going to just chop that little bit off there. And then pop a little bit of glue on there. I will glue it all down in a minute anyway, but I'll just stick that down so it doesn't go anywhere. That looks nice, doesn't it? So I'm going to get a just have a couple of paper clips here. I can only find my little ones. I don't know what I've done with my big ones. Um, the fluff off there. So this goes on the back like that. And because you've got the interfacing on there, it's quite hard and it just holds it nicely. And then we just glue it down. So if you're a, if you wanted to sew it on the sewing machine, you can, um, but I don't really think you need to. Stick a bit of glue on there, like that. Squash it together. On this one, I actually went round the edges here. Look, you can probably see it a bit better on the back. 
you just see I've just tacked it round the edge just to make it look like it's a bit of sewing on there there we go and then we've got like a nice little paper clip and they are really light and they're really nice so there we go so there we've got sort of two paper clips now now I'm going to show you how to do these now and these are really lovely I, really, I just love this trim I think it's so pretty right so what I did let's put the lid on there I've got another piece of this oh here's a piece I cut earlier so I'll use that so I've just cut a, a strip off here um, so make them well what I was going to say make them as big as you like but here we go these are my little pinch print ones I'll put the name of these down at the bottom under the video anyway so they need to be sort of the, the right sort of size for the top um, along here um, but obviously you can make them any length you like so I'm going to fold this one in half like that so, and then what we're going to just decorate the top bit again so the same thing as, as the um, paper clip ones I'm going to pop a little bit let's put a bit a little bit of this one on and you can make as many of these as you like and just stick a bit of that on let's glue as we go a little bit of glue on there pop that on oops you can see like that and then we can take a little bit of this fabric we oh, need that bit of this on there Just stick that wherever you like whoopsie daisy turn around that way <coughs> put that on top you can sew buttons on these if you wanted to as well let's have a little should we have a little bit of this series not very sharp so which one was it going this way a bit of glue down through there pop that on like so and then when you fold it up look it just looks so pretty I'll cut that a little bit off there Okay, so let's do a little bit of sewing. Okay. Oops. So what I did, I actually went around in here. Just you can have a, a contrasting colour thread if you wanted to. Um, but whatever you have, or even you could actually use the gold, because I use some of the gold thread. In the tags, you could actually add a little bit of gold onto these, which would look quite nice. Wish I thought of that before. There we go. So up through here again. Oops. Through there. And I can do another little flower on here. Just do a little one here. So it's just like a little star. Little five points on there. Just through the middle. So these are really easy. If you're not very good at sewing, these are perfect. Not good at sewing like me. We are tiny little flower. Oops. My thumb in the way. 
one more little one up there go into the middle and we go another little one so they look really pretty I think we better closer up I'll take some pictures and pop them on there so you can see a little bit better so let's just off. Let's put that one through there. Okay. Now we can glue this down. You can glue sort of like little bits on after you've sewn them anyway. So when they've finished, if you feel like you need something else on there, you can glue something else onto them. down like that so if you wanted to glue sort of like a little button or something on there if you had some tiny little buttons I don't think I've got any here not to hand anyway so that's that one and then we just get one of the little pinch clips here and pop it on the top so what I do I get my um, pliers and I hold on to it like that and then I pop it in and then you just squeeze down like that. It's the easiest way that I've found to do it. Squeeze it tight like that, and it holds it lovely. So there we go. It's got another one. And then all is we need now. Oopsie daisy. It's a bulb clip, and then we just pop that through there. And then they just hang down. So you can hang them on your journals or anywhere you like. So that was a good one, wasn't it? I do love these. I think these are really, really pretty. And they do match lovely with these. So this is what we have so far. We've got our tags. There we go. We've got another one up there. Our little tags. And then our little clips. Like so. So I'll make some more of these. Um... Not sure whether I'll make some more of these, but this one I've just put some little random stitches in there. Like that, but I think they were really pretty. So there we go, that's what we got so far. Um, in the next tutorial I'm going to actually make the folder, or make the pocket pack. Um, and then we can see what embellishments, what more embellishments we need, and we'll work out what I want to make to go in them. So then we know where to hang everything and cut everything. And we will also be making um, uh, a blank journal, just a blank journal with a pretty cover. So this is why I can use some of the, um, the interfacing on there. So we can have a nice fabric cover journal to go in it. And this is a lovely fabric. So I'm hoping I've got another piece of this to use. So there we go, guys. Let's take these away so you can have a quick look at these here. So I will take a better picture of these, a close, closer picture, so you can have a look. So that's another little one. Okay, guys, so thank you for, for um, watching and um, joining me, and I will see you in part four. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.